Welcome to my second couponing video. In this video, we're going to talk about shopping at the Dollar Tree. I get a lot of questions about the Dollar Tree. Do they accept coupons? How does the process work? And things like that. So today I'm going to go over Dollar Tree's coupon policy and some of the things that you can expect from shopping there. The first thing is, yes, they do accept manufacturer's coupons. They accept uh, the magazine type coupons that you get in the paper and they accept printable online coupons. I will say that there are good and bad things about shopping at the Dollar Tree. The good thing is, is that you can get a lot of things free because, or really cheap because everything's just a dollar to begin with. Um, also a great thing is that it's a small store so um, I can get in and out really fast which is great because a lot of times working full time I don't have a lot of time to shop and time to coupon so being able to do a quick trip on my way home or on a Saturday makes things a lot easier for me. Some of the things that I don't like about the Dollar Tree is that it seems like every Dollar Tree is different. You might read online that, hey, there's a great deal, and and you can't find it. So every, tree, every Dollar Tree is different, so you may be able to find the things that you're looking for, and you may not. Um, I've also read online that there's been a lot of problems with people thinking that cashiers were rude, or that they wouldn't accept them, or they made them do different transactions. A lot of crazy stuff. So I went to two different Dollar Trees to kind of test the feel because honestly, with all of my couponing, I didn't, I've never done, done a lot of Dollar Tree couponing. Back home, we didn't have one close. So I, you know, things were just a dollar. So I haven't done a lot of couponing there. And over the last few days, I have went to two different ones and I've tried couponing at both of them. And I will say that the results were varied. One of them was extremely friendly, scanned my coupons, not a problem. The other was very picky. Now, I'll say don't use coupons for anything that you're not supposed to. That's coupon fraud and it's against the law. So don't do that anyway. But what I'm saying is that it took a long time at the cash register because she read the entire coupon, which is fine. That's her job. No big deal. So let's get into some of the things I bought. First, we'll start with the things that I bought using coupons. These were a great deal. I got the coupons, I think, at Smart Source. I think. I'll check. But um, I got the coupons at Smart Source. They were a dollar off any Pedia Care item. Um, I got one of the Pedia Care Daytime Multi Symptom Cold for children uh, ages 4 through 11. And I got the Fever Reducer Pain Reliever Acetaminophen Pedia Care for children ages 2 to 11. These are great to have in your medicine cabinet. These fall, um, the ages fall right in line with my youngest son, so they'll be great to have if he gets a cold or um, needs a pain reliever of any kind. So that is a great bar, great bargain, absolutely free. Oops. The second item is Speed Stick Power Fresh. I had a dollar off any speed stick and so this was also again absolutely free. The third item is the Colgate Max Fresh coupon. I actually had a 50 cent coupon, yeah it was 50 cents, yeah it was 50 cents and it came in the Sunday's paper for any uh, Max Fresh Colgate product. So this was just 50 cents. The last thing I used a coupon for was the Dawn dish detergent. It was 30 cents off, making it 70 cents. Um, I, I usually like to wait until I can get it for 50 cents or less, but I don't have a lot stockpiled yet, so I, I needed 
to make sure that I had a good supply. But anyway, no big deal. I got this one for 70 cents. Goodbye dish detergent. So, so that's the last thing I bought using coupon. That being said, the Dollar Tree is full of great deals to get. Um, I've been shopping there for years. I used to shop there a lot with my mom. And so we just fell in love with the store. So there's a lot of things that you can get that are a super good deal. There are also some things that aren't a good deal. Um, when shopping at the Dollar Tree, I do recommend sticking with your name brand. They have some like kitchen gadgets and things like that. The Betty Crocker ones are great. They carry Betty Crocker. The off-brand, not so much. Um, cleaning supplies are a fantastic thing to get at the Dollar Tree because they're just a dollar and they usually work pretty well. Even the, the off-brand types seem to work really well. So I'm going to go over some things that I bought just today as a Dollar Tree kind of haul. Um, one of the things I stock up on is sponges and scrubbies for my kitchen and I was literally like completely out and so I needed some and I couldn't decide which ones I wanted so they're just a dollar. I got all three types and they'll be, <laughs> they'll be good for a while. The next thing I get is the Reynolds wrappers. These are great. They're the pop-up foil sheets. They're the name brand, the Reynolds. They are thick. They are durable. I always keep these because they're just a dollar and you can't get off-brand aluminum foil usually for a dollar and the stuff's usually terrible. So Reynolds pop-up foil sheets are a great bargain. Another thing I buy that, uh, this is actually a little bit different than the ones that I've bought before, so I'm, I'm interested to, to try it. I'm sure it'll work just as good though. If it doesn't, I'll leave a comment or something and tell you guys, ooh, don't buy this. But I expect that it will. It's the Scrub Buddies 4 Deep Cleaning Pad Refills. And this is for my Swiffer. I actually have, it's not by Swiffer, it's, it's a red one. I'll put the name in the description below, but it allows me to add my own cleaning solution, which saves me money because the Swiffer stuff is really expensive. But they're just great because you can use them and you can throw them away. Another thing I bought this time were these super cute collapsible storage containers. Um, I'm in the process of organizing my pantry and getting everything set up in there for kind of a couponing stockpile room. When I get that completed, I'll show you there and how you can use some cheap organizing solutions to organize your stockpile or your pantry. These were just, again, at the Dollar Tree a dollar, and they're the collapsible storage containers. They're both the size A. I looked at all of the sizes and these were, these were my favorite. I'm also doing them in purple. So these will be great. I also bought this bin for my um, for my pantry as well. I'm going to use this for potatoes. I probably should have bought one for onions now that I think of it. But I don't like to keep potatoes in their uh, plastic bag because they go bad faster. It's actually better to keep them in like a wooden box or a cardboard box or something but I can put newspaper in this and they'll keep they'll keep for a long time in the pantry if you take them out of the bag. I bought a second one of those bins um, in pink. My desk area upstairs is all done in pink and black so this is just for a small trash can to use at my desk. I've been needing one so this will be really handy to have. Another thing that I buy at the Dollar Tree are journals and my line of work. I use a lot of journals with the kids that I see and journals can be pretty expensive and so every time I'm at the Dollar Tree and I'm running low, I always pick up two or three. Um, I keep in my work car and things so that if I'm with a client or something that I think would benefit from journal keeping. I can grab one. Um, they always have some really pretty ones for girls, but 
today when I was there, it was it was so great. I was actually able to find ones that are great for boys, and that's a little bit harder to find. So I probably should have picked up uh, more than just a couple, but um, another thing I bought for work is this Fisher Price 12 piece puzzle. Um, I have a new client that is a youngster, and so he will enjoy putting this puzzle together during one of our sessions. So it's a, it's just a cute, it's just a cute little thing that we can we can do together and talk about things. And so if you're looking for puzzles, they've got some great ones that are like this size, and then they have some shaped ones that are like around 50 pieces. And I use this with my little bit older kids. So these are great and just a buck. The last thing I'm going to show you is office supplies. The Dollar Tree is a great place to buy office supplies. They have, they usually have pretty good pens and uh, mechanical pencils. Aren't those super cute? I write in pencil in my planner that I keep for work because things are often changing. And so I, I, I used to use pen and then I was having to white out things and then I didn't sometimes have white out. So anyway, it's good to have pencils. Super cute. Um, I bought some neon paper clips. I use these with couponing a lot, and in another video, I'll show you more about that. But these are high voltage neon paper clips. Very awesome. For a dollar. And stickers. I love stickers. I like to give stickers to the kids I see. I like to put stickers on my planner. Stickers are awesome. So the Dollar Tree is a great place to get stickers. A little Alex sticker. They're so cute. So, yeah. So there you go. Those are the things that I bought today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel for more couponing videos and money saving tips. I'll be back with the next video soon. Thanks guys. Colgate Max Fresh. That's my cell phone. Okay. Another thing that I broke, I broke. Oh. My next product's on the table. Hold on. I dropped it. <laughs> um, and I had a. And we do a lot of journaling activities, and journals are expensive. That's. Fire alarm? What the heck? So, I always like to pick up a They are great for baked potatoes. They cover small. Where are these flies coming from? Or then, like, older than older than four. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll start over. It's hot.